The new Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection that we have received recently has had a very rocky start to say the least. However, it is a direct port, pretty much, from the original games, meaning that all of the glitches that were in the original two games are actually still available to be done. So I can showcase to you right here in this video, 10 glitches that you can actually use in online multiplayer. There is one of them that requires to have the invincibility cheat actually enabled, but apart from that, everything else can be actually done in multiplayer. So if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and I'll make a part two of this because honestly, I had so much fun just figuring these out. There will be chapters available so you can skip to each part if you like or if you're coming back to the video. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy the video. Did you know that in Star Wars Battlefront 2, in the Battlefront collection, you can actually get outside of the Venator? Just like on screen here, all you have to do is keep going up and down in a ship, and then you eventually be half outside of the ray shields. When you exit your ship, you can then drop down, and then just go round the side like you can see on screen here. It is a solid wall, and you will receive no damage from the space. Just like if you were in one of the Starfighters, you can actually shoot the ships like you can see on screen and do damage to the shields. The damage from one rocket is the equivalent to a rocket blast from one of the ships. So if you end up dying or you actually want to just respawn and try it again with a different class, as you can see the ship will stay there. And I used one of the Republic gunships as this, so any troopers that actually spawn, they spawn outside. Look at this. They spawn in the actual thing itself, but because it's outside the zone, He's just going to jump off. Look at this. Oh, we've got loads of them. Come on, boys. On the map Space Maigito, you can actually run up the side of the Venator like this and jump off the side, and you will actually end up on one of the attack cruisers. Normally, you would actually take damage, but if you use the cheat code for the invincibility, you can actually survive this fall, and you can then destroy the actual ship itself. There is another incredibly easy glitch and this involves going onto either your own or the enemy ship, it doesn't matter which one. So I've currently landed on the droid ship and there's a couple of bots with me and I can just run over to the left hand side here and find the shield generator. You might need to fight your way through because there's also turrets on the walls inside the office area. You can just avoid them, just manoeuvre through them, get to this little area right here and it's the first tiny pillar on the right. You can just walk through it. So easy to do. You can start shooting the generator and enemies above you. They cannot shoot through the floor at you. It's such an overpowered little spot. The only possible way of taking damage from these enemies is actually if they do the glitch themselves. Obviously it's quite easy and some people might know it's already there, so just be aware of that. You can stand under it and just shoot at the shield generator, it's so overpowered. I keep saying these are all overpowered because they are, they're glitches, they're so cool, I love doing these. Again, if you want to do these online you actually can, but it's a little bit scummy. So just be aware if you want to do it online, people might ask to kick you, they're going to get angry at you, but there's probably not a lot of people playing the game anyway, so enjoy yourself. There are a series of out of map glitches in this game, but this might be the only one where you can properly get out of the map with the assault class. So, on Tantiv 4, you can jump on top of one of the consoles, move over to the other side, and you can just jump up. You will now be out the map and you can sprint jump forward, and then you'll be above the actual arena itself, giving you free reign to run around like this, and you can get a way better angle over your enemies. It's sick. An easy way to get out of this is just run to the right hand side over towards this ramp as you can see and just jump over to it and you'll just go back into the map. The best way to get outside any of the maps in Star Wars Battlefront is to use the Jet Trooper from the clone side. It just makes it so simple to get out of any of the maps, it is so good. So on top of here if you aim in you can actually see more of the map and you can go over to this area with the weird pipes and it is a solid floor. Look over to this left hand side and you can actually get on top of these pipes and then you can get an advantage over the command post by jumping up a tiny bit and you can shoot over the wall. This is so overpowered. You can make your way over to the front bridge as you can see, so the control room area where you can get to the front of the ship and see this weird looping video of them being in outer space. Once you've got to this part you can turn around and go over to this little console room which is my personal favourite because you can shoot onto the floor and they cannot shoot you back. 
It is close quarters combat, so it's so, so overpowered. I love how they've not got rid of any of these glitches. This is so fun just to find new things in this game. So next up in the list of glitches, we are on Mustafar now. So this is a really, really good flanking point for either side if you just want to get a good advantage through your enemies. This is actually used on competitive play. So in this location of the map right here, you can run up this little ramp and you can actually get to this point as you can see on screen and you can run backwards, sprint jump onto this ledge on the right and you can then surprise your enemies and get a really good advantage over them. This is kind of a glitch but it's also used in competitive games. Moving over to this location on the map as you can see on screen you need to run over the railings, jump over with a jetpack trooper onto this rock side and in this corner of the wall you can jump through it jetpack over to the right hand side of the wall and there's a very convenient square for you to land on. You can actually shoot out of this wall and nobody can shoot you, they wouldn't be able to see you but they cannot shoot through. Just look at the example on screen here, how overpowered is that? If you look to your right you can actually see there's a door inside of the wall that does work, I have no idea why it's there but stand next to it and you can jump and jetpack all the way over to this room right here. This is a solid floor so you can stand on top of it and it gives you a really overpowered vantage point over the command post room. It is so sick. You can throw grenades, you can shoot through it. It is pretty damn cool. If you're looking for a more close quarters combat, you can just jump over to this console area and stand right in the middle of it and they still can't hit you and you can shoot down right next to you. This is such a handy spot because people will be running through here the whole time and they cannot see you at all so it's such an overpowered spot honestly this is sick. To get back into the map all you need to do is just walk off the console and you're straight back in. Very easy. Just next to the original location earlier you can run over to this side. This is a great hiding spot for a jet trooper. It is such a cool little view of everything and there is a special little easter egg on the right hand side where you can jump and flank the enemies without needing to go through the building. It is so so cool. And if you want to go back that way you don't have to go through the door. No no no. You can actually go back the way you came and flank the enemies if they're pushing you through the door. This is such a cool spot, not really a glitch, it's just a very cool trick to use. In the exact same spot you can actually jump off the side and fly over to this area right here. It is an invisible floor and no, you do not need cheats for this, you don't need the invisibility cheat, it is just a weird floor that you can stand on. I have no idea why this is a place or what they were thinking putting that there, but it doesn't really serve a purpose, it's just cool to show people. If you think about jumping off, well it doesn't work because there is another invisible floor where you can just start floating in the air for no reason. I have, why is this there? Can someone explain to me why this is here? It doesn't make any sense at all, but don't fall off the edge like I did, it's not a very big area. So thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video and want to see a part 2 and you've made it this far, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if there's any improvements or if there's any other fun glitches that you can recommend. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.